In this video, Mazu Namdekan, the leader of IPO, the indigenous people of Biafra, has revealed the killers of Ahmed Gulak, which was attributed to the unknown government in Owere. Recall that Ahmed Gulak was uh, murdered in Owere yesterday, being the 30th of uh, May 2021, which has been attributed to unknown government. And one begins to ask, what actually could have made a non-government to kill Ahmed Golak? Ahmed Golak has nothing to do with the people of Southeast or Bia France, especially the agitators. So, in this video, he revealed those behind it, saying that the prime suspect and the mastermind, in fact, the re-killer is an Nigerian national security advisor. Major, uh, retired Major General Ali Babagana Monguno, who used uh, Ozo Dema as a hook to lure um, uh, Ahmed Gulak to Imo State, and other people fingered uh, Erufai, Katrina Lang, Garba Sheho, and the rest of them. Please do watch, subscribe to our channel. Please, we we'll highly appreciate you. If you can do that and as you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon so I don't miss any of our subsequent updates. Thank you and may God bless you. Ask yourself this question, why would IPOB want to kill Gulak? Who is he? He was assassinated by Monguno, El Rufai, Garo Bashehu, the person that planned this assassination and cemented it is the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katriona Lang. They planned to kill him in Owere, of all places. They planned to kill him during our celebration or remembrance of our heroes. So they will blame it on IPOB and then start killing Igbo people in the north. It's a very simple game plan. Very, very neat and clean. But you know, as they say where we come from, please, I don't know who is going to interpret, not right. Because our hands are clean. This man told us about his killer before they killed him. And I'm going to play his voice for you. After playing his voice, I want the wife of Gulak, Ahmed Gulak, to demand the telephone records of the husband. After all the record conversations in the zoo, Madam, go and look. Ask MTN, your husband has about three phones. He has about three phones, yes? About three phones. Ask all the networks he's using to give you his phone records and his text messages. There you will see the killers of your husband. But it is not IPOB. Let me tell you what the man said before they killed him. The reason why they killed him, to tell you how evil they are. The reason why I know that Britain is behind this is the way they play. I know they must demonize you. To kill you, they first demonize you. That's how they do. It was this same woman, Katina Lang, that demonized Robert Mugabe. Demonized him, demonized him before the world. The same woman. They sent him to come and do this. That was why they formed BBC. Once they created BBC, the Catherine Lang came to, to walk hand in hand. But they refused, or I wouldn't say refused, they failed to understand that our people are naturally intelligent. Biafran people are by nature very intelligent. How many other they can tell when they're trying to deceive them? Let me play you the voice of the man Ahmed Gulak, that they killed. And in this very clip of his, you will hear the name of his killer that they want to pin an unnamed Kano. But uh, uh, I pray seven times every day, this God I worship, if he cannot protect me, then what am I doing? What, what is he doing as God? They got the dates wrong. If they had killed him today, if they had killed him today, they would have blamed it on me. But they got the dates wrong. And they never knew that this video would come out. 
This is the reason why you must work very hard to ensure the disintegration of Nigeria. Nigeria is an evil enclave. Listen, let's listen to the man that they killed. I wanted to blame it on Nam the Khan and IPOB. Let's listen to him. I want to say what I have been saying over time. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, mm -hmm. remove, arrest, prosecute Major General Ali Munguno, your national security advisor. Arrest them. So this is the voice. This is Ahmed Gulak asking uh, the so called president to do something. To do what? What are you asking the president to do, please? The man they killed in a world, blaming and the kind of IPOP, ESN. The man that they themselves killed. That is the name of the man that killed him. He's about to mention. Listen. Mr. President, mm -hmm. remove, arrest, prosecute Major General Ali Munguno, yeah. National Security Advisor. Munguno. He is corrupt. Uh -huh. He is clueless. Uh -huh. He don't have the interests of Nigeria and Nigerians at heart. Mm -hmm. And that Munguno is a hypocrite. Yes. If he is the NSC, Yes. And he think he have available power within him. Let him arrest me. He is corrupt. Uh -huh. He is a thief. Uh -huh. He is a problem to yes. the security of this country. Thank you. If people are afraid, I'm I, not afraid. I'm, I'm not afraid. afraid. Good luck. He said he's not because afraid. Munguno is only busy stealing the monies. They killed him because he accused Munguno, the National Security Advisor of Nigeria, of corruption. He said, I, I'm not afraid of you. I don't care what you're going to do. This man called Gulak did not even trust Hope or the man, the man he put in power in Imo State. He did not trust him. That was why he left his hotel without telling any security operative because he felt that Munguno was on his trail. That was why there was no siren. He took a simple taxi because he feared for his life. Is it that simple? It's not common sense. If a high-ranking APC official can visit a place and refuse every security protocol, it's because he is afraid or in fear of his own life. Have we ever had any encounter with um, Gulag to make him be fearful of his life? No, is the answer. The person that killed him is here. The person that killed him he has mentioned his name. But the Premium Times, Sahara Reporters, uh, Punch Newspaper, Daily Post, these are evil black people writing rubbish. Evil men and women claiming they are journalists. Evil people whom we open to. The man mentioned his killer. Told you who killed him. But you are so determined because of you want to serve your British masters, you are so determined to open it on IPOB. You people are evil. I want our Hausa service to translate this very broadcast into Hausa language and play it for Hausa people. We don't know who this man is. He's inconsequential. He's a nobody to us. Intellectually, he's not a force to be reckoned with. I never mentioned his name before because I don't know I don't know who he is. But you see, do you see how God will always save us if we if, we, if our hands are clean? I want to say what I have been saying over time. Mr. President, remove, arrest, prosecute Major General Ali Munguno your national security advisor. He is corrupt. He is clueless. He don't have the interests of Nigeria and Nigerians at heart. And that Munguno is a hypocrite. If he is the NSC, and he thinks he has available power within him, let him arrest me. He is corrupt. He is a thief. He is a problem to the security of this country. If people are afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm only afraid of God. Because Munguno is only busy stealing the monies meant to protect us. That is it. And the better for you, Mr. President, 
remove Major General Munguno is the most useless NSA ever produced in the history of Nigeria. Thank you very much.